Okay, so we are on the final part of the Hacks Flixel setup before we actually make a game. Um, and the first thing I want to do is add some colour to this file. So I'm not an expert at writing bash code. So I'm going to go to this um, Stack Overflow link. I'll put the description inside the video. I'm going to copy a few colours. So I'm going to copy green. And I'm going to copy no colour. I don't know what how the colours exactly work, but... Um, yeah, so I'm going to get green here and then put that here. So this will be green when it's done and I'll get no colour and put it at the end. The reason for putting no colour at the end is so that the subsequent lines of code don't have green as well. So the green will start here and will end here. Okay, another thing I'm going to do is um, change the name of the game to something that's better than template. So let's find all instances of game jam template and rename it to platformer game um, or just platformer platformer tucked, I don't know um, so let's replace all 14 instances perfect um, and I've actually got rid of the git remote that was here before so I've say, um, removed it from, from the git whatever so if I do a push it won't go anywhere um, but I'm planning to change this name at some point in the future anyway so now that's done a few more things here I want to do. So you've probably noticed that whenever you run the game, it runs in this box windowed mode, um, which is okay if you want to have the game's resolution, but I want to have a 16 by 9 game. So I'm going to change the resolution here in the project XML, which is in the root, if you can't find it down here. So first let's, um, the name's been changed. Awesome. Let's change the resolution to 1280 by 720 and um, keep the frames per second. Background is correct. So let's turn the VSync on the desktop version of the game, make it resizable on the web, and I'm not making a mobile game, so I'm going to comment this out for now. Cool. So now if I run um, npm start with everything in there, um, it will have my old code. So let's make some changes. Just put two here instead. Save. Now you can see the green text here. I'm actually going to get rid of this space. I don't know why I put that in the first place. Um, it looks a bit weird. Okay, and now if I refresh the browser, browser hard refresh, so shift command R, you'll see it takes up the full screen um, and it doesn't take up a tiny bit anymore. So that is it. Mainly, I've actually also noticed that it's kind of a bit of a box. But anyway, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, and now we're going to go into actually writing codes for making the game. Thanks for watching.